Hello, welcome to the Concert Reviews. Today I'm going to take a look at Icon for Hire's recent performance at Satan's Hollow in Manchester. <laughs> venue, Satan's Hollow. It, I didn't even realise until very recently that I actually did gigs there. It is my, it's my favourite club in Manchester. It's a rock bar, it's a rock club. The DJ booth has a big red devil leaping over it. It's a big circular pit in the middle that's raised up for moshing. It's an awesome night out, so as soon as I saw that one of my favourite female-led bands is performing at my favourite club, I had to get a ticket. I just, I had to. I can't buy played really well. They performed a lot of their classics, a lot of their new stuff. It was a really good set, including an amazing acoustic cover of Numb by Linkin Park.
reacted really well to the peculiar stage that raised the middle section that's all about that's where the stage was so they had the crowd all around them so they couldn't just perform to the front or the sides they had to interact with everybody and it gives you that I always gone on about that intimate feeling you want in a gig you want to feel like you're part of it well you did here because it was only a small crowd this gig was a small venue and this one was added to their tour last minute but then whenever like she comes up and she's singing at you you can tell she's actually singing at you because it's very it's that close and it was just a cool environment and I think they talked about how it was different for them and how much they enjoyed it and thought it was really cool and I believe them because I've been to a lot of gigs and none of them ever looked like that. I'm on downside of that type of venue is the acoustics aren't fantastic in there and well it's the acoustics or the fact that the only space by the time I got there I could get a decent space was near the drums so I struggled to hear her sing a lot of the time until she came round to my section so it was still a cool experience and I love this band and I've been waiting to see them for years I'm kind of good because they're playing later on the tour with a band called Alpha Rise Kings who I really like I've seen before I would love to see them again but they weren't on this part of the tour because it was very last minute but the other support act Riot Girl from Sweden I caught the end of their set and they were they were top they were absolutely top I'm definitely going to be listening to them again band great performance a really good crowd like the crowd was properly into it and a cool and unique venue so it's gonna be one of those gigs that i'm gonna remember for a while and i really want to see this band again so until next time